Spoiler alert! This post includes details about the series finale of NBC's Superstore. Superstore gave fans one last bang for their buck before closing the doors to Cloud9 for good. The NBC workplace comedy wrapped its sixth season run with a two-part series finale, which saw a happy ending for Amy, America Ferreira, and Jonah, Ben Feldman, and marked a brand new chapter for other members of the Cloud9 family. Creator Justin Spitzer, who stepped down as showrunner back in 2019, returned to co-write the emotional final episodes with executive producers Jonathan Green and Gabe Miller. Part 1 of the series finale, Perfect Store, picks up from America Ferreira's surprise appearance at the end of the Lowell Anderson episode, when Cheyenne, Nicole Sakura, calls up Amy Sosa to confirm rumors of a Cloud9 closures due to the pandemic. Amy returns to St. Louis from California to help her work family get in tip-top shape for a corporate evaluation that decides the fate of the Cloud9 Ozark Highlands branch. The episode closes with Amy revealing herself to the corporate analyst, who explains that the store wasn't even in consideration to close, but will make the perfect fulfillment center. Upon learning that her Cloud9 peers could lose their jobs, Amy quits hers as a Zephra executive. A month later in All Sales Final, Amy returns to say one last goodbye to the oddballs of Cloud9, but then helps clear out the shelves at Glenn's, Mark McKinney, request. Now appointed manager to the Zephra Fulfillment Center, Dina, Lauren Ash, must choose which five employees to take under her wing. Meanwhile, Mateo, Nico Santos, must figure out his next steps to keep himself employed and away from deportation. Amy learns that Jonah broke up with Hannah, Maria Thayer, the lawyer who represented Carol, Irene White, in her lawsuit against the Superstore. She attempts to address the elephant in the aisles, their called-off engagement, only further straining their relationship. In Cloud9 fashion, the crew gathers in the electronics section with bowls of popcorn for a farewell celebration. They watch old reels of the crew's job interviews, which Glenn reveals he secretly recorded, in case someone accused me of not hiring them unless they gave me sexual favors. Inspired by the old tapes, Glenn says he'll hire Mateo at Sturgis & Sons, the hardware store he'll open to continue his father's legacy. Amy has a 10 things I hate about you moment as confronts him lists all the different ways he has annoyed her, but changed her life for the better. I hated how cheesy you were, I hated how woke you were and I hated how often you'd use the word, artisan, but most of all I hated how you believed that life could be better than it was, she said. And yet here we are, and my life is so much better than it was because of you. And I know I screwed it all up, before she continues, Jonah comes in for a kiss. Sorry, it's just that you were talking so much. 